prophecies and predictions of the Holy Quran. Linguistic and scientific miracles are not the only miracles present in the Holy Quran, as it also contains prophecies that have since come true. The Holy Quran provides many predictions related to future events. All these Quranic predictions manifested as predicated. Among the many accurate futuristic predictions made is the bold claim of the victory of the Byzantine Empire over the Persian Empire. In the early 7th century, the two great empires ruling and competing at the time were the Byzantine and Persian empires. The Byzantines suffered a severe defeat in their fight against the Persians during the wars at the time, which seemed to doom the empire. The Holy Quran stated that while the Byzantines did experience an initial loss, they would soon be victorious within three to nine years. And they were indeed victorious, something which no one could have anticipated. God the Almighty states, The Byzantines have been defeated in the nearest land, but they, after their defeat, will overcome within three to nine years. To Allah belongs the command before and after, and that day the believers will rejoice in the victory of Allah. He gives victory to whom He wills, and He is the exalted in might, the merciful. Quran chapter 30 verses 2 through 5. Not only did this prediction come to fruition, but the verse referenced that, in geographic terms, the Romans were defeated in the lowest land in the Arabic language. We later came to find, via satellite images, that the location of their defeat is the lowest point on the face of the earth. This vicinity boasted the lowest altitude on earth, or 400 meters below sea level. The Pharaoh, who lived in the time of Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, had power and wealth. He even arrogantly proclaimed himself to be a god. He eventually drowned. His fate was a direct punishment for his arrogance. In a verse of the Holy Quran, God stated that he would preserve the Pharaoh's body as a sign for those who came after him. His body was later discovered in 1898. In the early 70s, his corpse was examined, and it was discovered through investigation of his mummy that he had died from the infiltration of water into his lungs, providing conclusive proof of a drowning death. It also was proven that he lived at the time of the prophet Moses, peace be upon him. God preserved his body forever as a sign and lesson for humanity, as he had promised in his final revelation. This body is in a museum and often tours the world for everyone to see. So today we will save you in body that you may be to those who succeed you a sign, and indeed many among people of our signs are heedless. Quran chapter 10 verse 92. After the idol worshippers forced Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Muslims to flee the holy land of Mecca, they settled in the city of Medina. These idol worshippers continued to prosecute the Muslims and tried to end the message of Islam. The Holy Quran predicted and promised that Muslims would re-enter the sacred house of Allah, Mecca, victoriously in a state of security. This later came true in the eighth year of the Hijra, with many of their hairs shaved and cut short. As the verse states, they performed a pilgrimage and fulfilled the rituals without fear. Indeed, Allah has made true to his messenger the dream shown with truth. You will definitely enter the sacred mosque, insha'Allah, if Allah wills, peacefully, with your heads shaved and your hairs cut short, having no fear. So he knew what you did not know, and he assigned before that a victory near at hand. Quran, chapter 48, verse 27. Many other prophecies fill the Holy Quran. For instance, God's claim that he would safeguard and protect his final book to humanity, the Holy Quran, from man-made alterations or any form of corruption. As stated in the previous chapter, the Holy Quran remains the same way it came, 
letter by letter. Indeed, it is we who sent down the message, i.e. the Quran, and indeed we will be its guardian. Quran, chapter 15, verse 9. The Holy Quran also contains God's claim that he made the Holy Quran easy to memorize. And today, hundreds of thousands of people have memorized the entire book, which contains more than 600 plus pages. Millions of people have memorized the text no matter their ethnicity and language. There is no other scripture or book on earth that is easy to memorize. And indeed, we have already made the Quran easy for remembrance. Is there any that will recollect? Quran, chapter 54, verse 17. Not only does the Holy Quran give prophecies of the future, but the prophetic sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, have given us many predictions as well. We can quickly outline a few among the 100 plus prophecies in the Hadith of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. While Arab pagans were not known for building tall buildings like the Romans, Greeks, and Egyptians, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesied that there would come a time when you would see the children of barefooted camel and goat herders participating in the construction of high-rise buildings. He pointed out that this material prosperity would signify Judgment Day's closeness. This prophecy was made at a time and place when there was no indication that Arabs would construct tall buildings. Indeed, this was when Arabs were impoverished herders of camels and sheep. The fathers of the current rulers of Dubai and Saudi Arabia once walked barefoot and used herding camels and goats as their primary means of living before discovering oil. Today, Dubai and Saudi Arabia have the world's tallest buildings. And when you see barefoot, naked, destitute shepherds constructing tall buildings, you see the truth of the prophecy. Sahih Muslim The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also predicted Jerusalem would be conquered after his death, be lost, and then be conquered again. He prophesied the conquest of Persia, Rome, and Egypt. Muslims conquered Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, after his death, as predicted. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, predicted Islam would spread to the far eastern and western ends of the world, and now we see Islam has spread worldwide, encompassing 24% of the world population. Among the many predictions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the prediction that a time would come when women are clothed yet naked, walking with an enticing gait, narrated by Ahmad and Muslim in al -Sahi. Today, we see women worldwide walking the streets with many body parts exposed, flaunting their beauty as the Hadith predicted. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesied that there would be a time when killing would increase, and one who kills would not know why they killed, nor would the one killed understand it. One can see this happening in modern wars and gang-related conflicts. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, prophesied the increase in usury and interest, which are unethical and exploitative, since they make the rich richer at the expense of the poor. He stated that no one would be able to escape this state, which unfortunately defines the world's current economic state. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordered mosques, houses of God, to be built with simplicity. He prophesied a time when mosques would be like palaces, and now we see many huge, beautiful mosques worldwide with pillars, chandeliers, domes, beautiful colored carpets, and marbled floors.